to my venerable sirs and madams, show them the money. Grand Prix. Yeah. Yeah, exactly $1,000 for you. And right now you have to imagine a smartphone on the palm of my hand, not this booty. <laughs> Not the gold coins, but only the smartphone. So on the screen of your smartphone, you will see a question. After it appears, you'll have like 12 seconds to decide which of the following three answer choices is correct, and then tap the button. You made your decision, then tap the variant with the correct answer, in your opinion, correct? That's actually the process that you must go through during the whole you know, 12 questions that we have for you tonight. And it's okay to be wrong because you have a bonus life from the beginning, but uh, as many friends, you know, as you bring in, that's how many bonus lives you can have. But you can only use like two bonus, extra bonus lives during one broadcast. So let's take a look at our viewer count. It's, uh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that you can start answering on question number three or, I don't know, two or nine, just from the first one to the final round to the final one. <laughs> I had to say final round, but I say it's not one final one. So 12 in a row from the first one to the final one. And right now we are watched by 2,225 people online. Thank you very much for being here with us this evening. And uh, we actually have something we call chat. Right there you can say something like, uh, go to hell, Victor, or something else. So uh, that's actually the point where I uh, where I'm saying something like, hey, that's great to start, that's a wonderful day, but today I'm gonna say something else. I'm gonna say, uh, no, I have nothing new. It's a great day for IQ Option, and it's a great day to expand your financial knowledge, therefore, it's time to play the game. Question number one is here, come on. A piece of paper money is called coin, banknote, or budget. And let me please tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, we just officially started. That's the final point where you can join us. So now or never, join or die. Yes or what's the opposite to yes? The money that, so in the first quarter of uh, 2018, the euro share of global reserves was about 20%. The yen share of currency reserves was around, you know, 4.8%. The global reserves uh, held in U.S. dollars amounted to 62% in the first quarter of 2018. So the U.S. dollar has remained the biggest reserve currency by far. And 1,554 people knew the correct answer. Thank you very much once again. That's actually the second time in a row that I'm saying thank you very much, our handsome viewers. Question number three is here. The use of borrowed capital for investing purposes is called deposit, leverage, or trailing stop. What do you think about my new, my new thing? Just, I'm asking my producer Danny's, but he can't hear me because he's piling up his little coins. Right? Corporation and one of the world's largest producers and marketers of tobacco, cigarettes, and you know related products. <clears throat> Pardon. British American Tobacco is a British multinational cigarette and tobacco manufacturing company. Baidu is a Chinese multinational multinational technology company specializing in internet-related services and products and artificial intelligence. And 849 people knew the correct answer. And by the way, please let me remind you something, that if you give a wrong answer, you have like, you know, five seconds to bring yourself back into the race. Back, back into the race. Because if you have right here, heart-shaped button, you know, with your extra bonus life, you can tap it within five seconds after you give a wrong answer, and boom, you're here, you're back here, welcome back. Hey, question number five is here. What's the currency of Ethiopia? A Ryrie, beer, or a Guga? Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful words in this question, actually. So, <laughs> Mr. Braden, we still owe you a t-shirt. Ah, uh, 
Can someone get this person a t-shirt, huh? You, <laughs> you wouldn't believe that, but I'm alone in this studio. There's no cameramans, there's no producers, there's no prom guys. It's, uh, and nothing on the chat, nothing. No one ever, no one ever, you know, I don't, yeah, still nothing, you know. All right, so small cap equity shares that trade in the over the counter market for prices between several cents and $10 are called penny stocks. The stock of a large, you know, well established and financially sound company that has operated for many, many years is a blue chip stock. A seen stock refers to a publicly traded company that is uh, either involved or involved, I mean, in or associated with an activity that is considered to be, you know, unethical or immoral. Stocks of tobacco, alcohol, and gambling companies are seen stocks. So, 495 people knew that it's a seen. It's us, and thank you for knowing what the scene is. Question number seven is here, come on. So, <laughs> the degree of variation of a trading price series over time is called mercantilism, liquidity, or volatility. That's, that's my new thing, yeah. That's the thing that I'm practicing for, I don't know, maybe two seconds, three seconds, but I think I'll stick with it, yeah. That's, you know, that looks solid, really. So, liquidity describes the degree to which an asset or security can be quickly bought or sold in the market without affecting the asset's price. An economic theory from, you know, pre-capitalist times which held that a country's prosperity depended on its ability to generate large and persistent surpluses in its foreign trade with other countries is mercantilism. The degree of a trade in prices series over time is volatility. And 489 people knew the correct answer. That's actually, you know, right on the edge. You can do better, I know that. So. Don't disappoint me, please. Don't disappoint me during question number eight, which is here. So, this is not a pharmaceutical company. Alliance, Merck, or Pfizer. Now it's your turn. The floor is yours, come on. What do we have here on our chat? And nothing, just, just nothing. Nicholas T just said, help me. Somebody please help Nicholas T. Kartik G just said, one, two, ah, there's some kind of codes here. Is it a code? No, it's, it's not. And you just don't want to tell me. White M just said, I need extra lives. Do you, do you need it? I can, I can give, but time's up, I'm sorry. Pfizer is an American pharmaceutical corporation. The Merck Group is a German multinational pharmaceutical, chemical, and life sciences company operating worldwide. Alliance is a European financial services company. Its core businesses are insurance and asset management. And 392 people knew the correct answer. And 392. That's not actually what I call better. Do you remember I asked you like, I don't know, 83 seconds ago to be, to be smarter? Mm -hmm. And 392. All right, I'll give you another chance. Question number nine has arrived. Let's go. The full name of this technical indicator is the Shandai Crow blank. Curve, stop, or cloud, so just, what sounds better? That's what we regularly do here. What sounds better? Uh, like, you know, Shandai Crawl Curve, Shandai Crawl Stop, or Shandai Crawl Cloud. The Kappa Curve is a long-term price momentum indicator used primarily to recognize major bottoms in the stock market. The Ishimoku cloud is a chart 
used in technical analysis that shows support and resistance and momentum and trend directions. I believe. So in 2017-18, Ukraine produced 8.7 million metric ton tons of barley and became the third largest producer of barley in the world. Russia took the second spot with an output of over 20 million metric tons. In 2017, the 2017-18 uh, season, <laughs> the largest barley producer with an output of over 58 million metric tons of barley was the European Union. And well, that was some kind of a tough question, not only for me, but for you as well. And I need a graphic here. It's a tough question here. It's a beautiful hand and a beautiful glue in my beautiful pocket. No one sees it. But anyways, tough question, you know, for question number 10, we, we have this label of tough one. But right now we are about to witness question number 11, because here it goes. Hmm? This cryptocurrency has a total supply of 21 million units. Is it Ethereum, Litecoin, or Zcash? Salim Baiji said, today will good price. Maybe, I don't know. What's the price for today? Like one thousand dollars? Is that good? <laughs> and of course, one thousand dollars in these little babies. Yeah, that's what you'll get on your IQ option accounts. Real money. So the total supply of Ether, the main cryptocurrency of the Ethereum platform, was one hundred million units as of June of twenty eighteen. Ethereum has opted not to set an you know, upper limit on its total coin supply. The total supply of Litecoin is 84 million units. Like Bitcoin, Zcash has a fixed total supply of 21 million units. And 112 people knew exactly what the correct answer was. And by the way, please let me remind you, uh -huh, right now that's actually the final point where you can use your extra bonus lives because you can't use your extra bonus bonus lives during the final round. No, you can do it. This one is pretty new, pretty young. I don't know, maybe. What's the third one? That's Korea. Isn't that a synonymous of, you know, young? And the correct answer is Shenzhen Stock Exchange. It's a stock exchange based in the city of Shenzhen, China. It was unofficially founded in 1987, formally founded in 1990, and started trading in 1991. Korea Exchange is the sole securities exchange operator in South Korea, which was founded back in 2005. Moscow Exchange was established in December of 2018, so it's the youngest stock exchange among of the three. So the correct answer to this question was clear to 41 people. That's right. 41, I know. And these people will get to share, uh, will share our Grand Prix of $1,000. So each and every one of you smart fellows will get $24.39. Isn't that incredible? Huh? My producer says it is. So here's the point where, where I should call you amazing, but, but I'll call you Oxenly Lumbe. And that's it, yeah, from now on, you are legally Oxenly Lumbe. And to prove it, we will show your nicknames. That's right, you can see your nicknames on the screens of your smartphones. So, yeah, once again, I would like to congratulate you on winning some money, 24 bucks. It is actually nice at any time. So, congrats, guys. And thank you for your attention and thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience and thank you for your knowledge. Thank you for your luck and thank you for your well-deserved success. Thank you for joining us during this broadcast. See you next time. And as always, never stop thinking. And see you later. Goodbye, everybody.